Hi, my name is James Lawrence and I'm one of the authors of The Growing Leaders Material. Thank you so much for considering being a mentor for somebody who's going to go through one of The Growing Leaders courses. We're really delighted that you're taking time to think this through. What I want to do in the next few minutes is just offer you some thoughts that might help you come to a decision on whether to take up such a role or not. Let me be clear right at the start that when it comes to mentoring, what we're not looking for is superwoman or superman. It might be lovely if a participant could have a combination of Mother Teresa and Jesus, but in this instance, that isn't gonna happen. So if you're feeling somewhat anxious or nervous, believe me, you'll be in good company. So are many who take on mentoring. So, what does a mentor offer those who are going to be mentored? Well, there's a variety of things. They offer them space and time. In a fast moving world, so many people lack someone who they can spend time with, just talking through the stuff of their life. And as a mentor, that's one of the key things that is offered. They offer a listening ear, support and encouragement. The word encourage, as you may know, means to give strength to someone. And actually it's a great help when you've got someone who's cheering you on to do what you think God's calling you to do. Mentors also offer accountability and challenge. There are times where the mentee will need to decide particular actions they want to take. And then the mentor is there to say, yes, that's right, and let me offer you some accountability to ensure that that's what happens. And occasionally the mentor will offer feedback in a challenging way that will help them to grow and develop and see things that at this time they haven't yet seen. So there are a number of skills that a mentor will need to bring. First of all, mentors need to be good listeners. So if you're somebody who is good at listening and doesn't need to be talking all the time, then you may well be a great mentor. Secondly, they need to ask good questions because it's those questions that open up the person and enable you to discern what God is doing in their lives and how you can support them in going with what God is doing. We provide a whole range of questions in a number of the resources that we have on offer. And then thirdly, good mentors not only listen, ask good questions, but they also share something of their experience. And that experience is offered as a way of encouraging and, and developing the person that they're working with. Obviously, if we spend all our time talking about our experience, that isn't helpful. But to never share something of our experience, uh, share something of our experience isn't helpful either. Well, as we think about these things, uh, we're not going to abandon you. We've got a range of resources to offer you that might help you in mentoring. They're a part of the Growing Leaders Suite. There's a training session that the church will run, which will give you some guidance on how to start the mentoring relationship and some basic skills and tools that you might use. They're the course books, the Growing Leaders book for the adult course and the Growing Younger Leaders for the youth edition. Both of those can be really useful tools in preparing you for your sessions with your mentee. And then we've got some downloadable e-bulletins that are for mentors explaining what each session has been about and the sorts of issues and questions you might want to explore with your mentee. So there's a whole range of stuff that we want to offer you to help you as a mentor. Again and again, as we listen to the stories of those who've been through Growing Leaders, we hear that the mentor has been one of the key parts of it. So if you're sitting there thinking, yeah, maybe, just maybe, this is something I could offer, may we really encourage you to pray, think, and if at the end of that process you think you could do it, have a go. Go for it, because it can make a huge difference in another leader's life.